Good morning and welcome to Travel with Rick and Dee. Today, hopefully, I am going to tackle this trash can slide for the last time. This has come off repeatedly underneath the cabinet here. As you can see, I've already sanded the spots down with the sander and the tools that I am going to use which are over here. I use the sander with some 100 grit sandpaper. I'll be using the skill saw to cut my new pieces that will be going in there. I'll be using a light to make sure I get all the junk out of there. And then we'll be using the drill to put in the new screws and to secure the trash can retainer. Make sure I get an extra battery. You never know because these things always seem to run out when you're in the middle of a project. I'll be securing this wood down to the existing wood with liquid nail which I got a small tube of it instead of a big tube. The screws are right here that go into the trash can receptacle. I'll use a tape measure and as you can see I've wiped down the floor of all dust and dirt. You use a tack towel the more dust and the more dirt you have off the floor, the better off things adhere to each other. So you scuff them up, you scuff the bottom of that up, which would be the top of the surface, and then you'll scuff up the bottom of this. That way there, you've got a rough surface, even though it doesn't feel rough, it's rougher than what it is normally, and the liquid nail will adhere and bond quicker. So, right now, I've already wiped that out. I'm gonna dispose of this. I'm gonna move my saw over and This piece of wood is roughly about 16 inches long, 16 by 15. I am going to scribe this out in a little less than 4 inch increments. Old sheetrock way of marking stuff out. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you know what you need to cut. Now I'll take this outside with a saw and I'll cut these out. You can see that I'm practicing safety. At least I have goggles on, but notice the bare feet. So, before you start getting into cutting, bring everything outside and 
set yourself up a little workstation out here as we did on our fire pit. Take the battery with. <sighs> Try not to get my fingers on this other side because your body has oil that it naturally gives off. Not that that's really gonna make any big of a difference, but the, the best in trying to keep it oil free, the better it'll stick. Here we are, back inside, with the material that I need to make sure that this thing doesn't pop off again like it has repeatedly. Right now I've got a utility blade. I'm going to use that to open up the liquid nail because these packages are always a pain in the butt. And anybody that knows anything about these plastic packages knows you always fight with them so be careful with your knife so you don't run it down the side of your liquid nail package ready to go. One last thing I have to cut and do. I think I will cut this right about here so I get a good flow of this stuff. sink drill on the end so I can once I get the glue down I can secure this down to the other wood but that is after I put these two slots in place
Here's my pattern with the PL400, which is a construction adhesive. I've done it on both sides. And here are the sleeves, or the pieces, that I will put on top for my new area. These will sit right down on top, like so. Sure I use the sanded part to go down against the sanded part inside which will give you a good area good 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 area well I've got those in there I'm gonna take this bit that counters down a little bit so the head of the screw will sit flush with the wood Change out the bit. Good old magnetic tip. And run this down in. Two more pilot holes in the back, like up front. and flush in the back. And we can let that set up for a little bit. And actually I really don't need to. I could put this framework in right now. And really start screwing it in. This framework runs just like this. She comes right in. So 
that's how she'll sit in there when it's all ready to go. Then she comes out, she goes back in. Make sure she's all right, all the way around. I may hold it a little bit over to this side a little bit more so I can get my trash bags and stuff in on the side there. But that's basically how it's going to be. I attach all these little screws right here all down to these four legs on either side. And then that is completed. And hopefully, I don't have any more issues with it. Keyword, hopefully. For right now, thanks for tuning in to us. And I'll see you when I finish this off. Hey, this is Rick again with Travel with Rick and D. We are finally putting in the trash can holder that allows your trash can to come in and out. After we put down the new wood sleeves which are inside here, I also used the liquid nail to, on the bottom of both of these areas. Pre-drilled holes for the four screws and then added the screws into the metal brackets and what you end up with is this I hate getting that liquid nail on you because once you get it on it don't come off too easy it's not very forgiving so the front is basically done what I'm going to do is get in the back. I've got the drill bit on here already. And actually, to be honest with you, I think I'm going to go to a smaller drill bit than that so that that screw bites a little bit better. We were at a, a 564th. I think I'm going to go to a 1 -sixth. 116 drill bit which is very tiny and very unforgiving if you twist it while you're screwing get back in here now the fun part Two more, two more my friends. One more. And then there's just a little clean up. I think we're going to have a little issue no issues whatsoever voila just like new on this note this is done 
and I'll be looking to get into the next project because there's always a project when you own a fifth wheel. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you on the road. Maybe I can give you a hand with something. This is Travel with Rick and D saying aloha. Thank you for watching our videos. We hope you enjoy them. We upload new videos every week. So don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel, Travel with Rick and D. Until next time, see, see you, you on, on the road. road.